What do you think Jordan's speech is going to be like? What do you think? Well, you know, I'm not sure in the end that Michael's going to be the one doing the talking. There's really? been um, There's been talk now that perhaps Vanessa's going to do the actual talking. Okay. And uh, I think Jordan will probably have some a little bit of sadness, but also relief. He was very concerned about uh, containing his emotions, as, as everyone remembers, at the Staples Center Memorial. You know, Jordan didn't, couldn't contain his emotions, didn't even try, uh, wept through the whole thing. And I would imagine it would be similar here this weekend. Um, so he may not end up being the person that speaks on behalf of Kobe. It may be that his wife, Vanessa, decides to do that. But either way, you, you know, I just, I just got here a little while ago. Mm-hmm. And, and it's all anyone's talking about is Kobe, the emotions of it, the, the, the someone dying so young and you know, the tragedy of that helicopter crash with so many people died so young, not just Kobe, not just Gigi. Right. You know, there were other teenagers and young parents mm. on that flight. The hel- You know, the pilot was, I don't think, even 50 years old. I mean, a lot of people died young in that during that tragedy. And I always like to mention the other people that lost their lives day because their lives are no less important than Kobe's or Gigi's. And I think Kobe and Gigi would be the first to say that. Well said, Jackie McMillan. Well said. Um, and then, you know, that, that will obviously be quite a remarkable moment. Um, and I'm assuming who else is going to be there? Who else are we hearing that's going to be there? Because this is also uh, two classes combined and so many people who want to be there. And uh, good to right. know that it's, the CDC's change, you know, uh, made, made their ruling on Thursday that maybe more and more people might be more comfortable coming now. I don't know. Last minute, I'm just throwing all this together. Yeah, I don't. Head. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's possible, Rich. This thing has been planned for so long, and um, I, you know, I've been doubly vaccinated for months, but I had to still present a negative COVID test when I checked in here today. Okay, had masks on everywhere. Uh, you know, this is one of the most coveted tickets, probably in Hall of Fame history, in some regards. And because of COVID, they moved it out of Springfield to Mohegan Sun, where they can socially distance a little more effectively. Okay. Uh, you know, one of the great events of uh, Enshrinement Weekend is they always have this pre-ceremony cocktail party, which is just, it's my favorite weekend because, you know, you you bump into Sam Jones and Oscar Robertson mm. and, uh, you know, whomever else. Uh, all You know, Spencer Hayward, who's a regular here and just a terrific guy. You always are happy to see him. And... Uh, and those those pre ceremony receptions are going to be split up into six different restaurants. You can't even have everybody all in the same place. So it's going to be a very different feel to it. Um, but you know, when the ha- when the actual enshrinement ceremony happens on Saturday, everybody's going to be under one roof, and it's it's. I- I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm going to be there as a spectator on Saturday, not as a journalist. I'm going to be there as uh, what you know, witnessing three guys that I covered closely. Rudy Tomjanovich, of course, oh boy, that's who I also, right. um, you know, covered extensively, and I'm so happy for him to get in. The great Tamika Ketchings is getting in, and then someone that people should know more about. Her name is Barbara Stevens. We called her Cardinal Barty Stevens. She was the Bentley College coach in um, West in Waltham, Mass. Not far at all from where I grew up, actually. She actually recruited my sister when she was at Clark University in Worcester, so I've been following Barbara's career for many years. Very well-deserved. She's got over a 1,000 career wins. She's probably the name people don't know but should know from this class, too. She's well-deserved to be part of this, you know, really elite group. It's going to be fantastic. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.